Hey there, and welcome to this week's update video. In this week's update, we are re-enabling something that you've all been asking for and waiting for for a while now. That is, of course, cargo ships. This option had been greyed out since planets because cargo ships were spawning inside a planet and this was causing all kinds of problems. But now they'll spawn and they will not spawn inside planets and they also will not crash onto planets. And they calculate a course that is clear of any planets. Now we have to say a massive thanks to Rexar for sending in this fix for us to implement. So yeah, thank you Rexar. I really hope everyone has fun with the cargo ships again and yeah, watch out for those traps. Moving on now, we've also done some more changes to the multiplayer netcode this week. I'm going to ask Dushan to come and talk about those new changes. Hi, it's me, Dushan, again. Last week, we implemented handling of the character on the server. This week, we are doing the same thing for ships. Before, when you were controlling ship on the client, your position and velocity was sent to the server, and servers applied this position and velocity. Now, when you are controlling the ship on the client, client simulate this locally, but you are sending only your input to the server, and server executes this input. Then, it sends the position and velocity back to the client. If the position is same on the client and the, on the server, nothing will happen, but if position differs, client position will be corrected to match the server position. This way, if there is any spike on the server, your ships will slow down or stop, but after the spike is gone, they will gain the original speed. Thanks guys, and goodbye! Also this week, we continue to improve the programmable block. So if you're a scripter, please see the link in the description box below to find out the changes that we made to that. We would also like to say a big thank you to Malware and other modders who are helping us to improve the programmable block and other in-game features. And now something for you piston lovers out there. This week we added a new feature which allows you to reattach piston heads to pistons. So hopefully when you lose those due to certain accidents, you'll be able to replace those piston heads without replacing the whole piston and losing your settings. If you would like to learn about this week's update in more detail, please see the change log via the link in the description box below for the full list of features and bug fixes. So thanks for watching and I will see you all next week. I would now like to end the update video with a quote. The vastness of the cosmos is incomprehensible. So great and terrifying a space that even in fictional worlds of our own imagining, we struggle to traverse it. Enough, back to work. Mm.